Well, for your first geometry sketchpad uh, assignment that you're going to submit to me, you're going to create the design that looks like this. Uh, this is a string art design. I believe one of the videos that we watched previously was on the planes and parallels, parallel segments and the like, should you design like this. So now you're going to be able to create it. So I'm going to let you think about it. And then we're going to start with it. Well, so here we go. Let's begin by a new, opening a new sketch. Now, it, it wasn't shown on the on the screen earlier, but but we're going to put it in. We're going to put in the grid. Put in the rectangular grid. And there you have it. Now basically, all I did was uh, I I designed on the grid and then I took away the grid along with the axes. The grid of course is just the XY coordinate system. Remember we refer to the first quadrant here, second, third, and fourth quadrants. Okay. Um, we're going to start by drawing segments. Use our segment tool. We're going to start well, before we start, let me go back and show you something, okay? On graph, not the graph, man, uh, is it the, the menu up here? Oh, yeah, the graph menu, we want to choose snap points. Again, graph menu, snap points. Now, snap points allows you, it's going to lock right on the crosshairs, okay? Anywhere I drag this, if I want to, if I want to construct a point, it will only occur at a crosshair. If I turn that snap point off, it can go anywhere. So sometimes you want it, sometimes you don't. Anyway, here we go. Snap points on. I don't want uh, segments. I don't want dots. I want segments. I'm going to start at this point on the y-axis. Coordinates. You should know the coordinates. Okay, 0, 8. I'm going to draw a segment from 0, 8 to... One zero. Then I'm going to come down one. That would be zero seven, and to two zero. I'm going to keep up that pattern. Segment starts one unit below on the axis uh, on the y-axis and moves one unit over on the x-axis. Just keep that pattern going. And of course, you could see that that pattern is going to be duplicate it in each of the remaining three quadrants. So here's the design in the first quadrant, but I don't have any colors. So let's start coloring it. So I didn't want that segment. Control Z, don't do that. Select, right? Select the segment, do a right click, choose a color. Select the next segment, right click, choose a color. Select the next segment, maybe you want to come down here, it might be easier to select. Okay, choose a color. I'm, I'm just working my way down these colors. Select the next segment, choose a color. Select the next segment. One segment at a time, choose a color. And the last color was green, so we're going with this light blue. Select the segment, choose a color. Go down to the dark blue. And select the segment. I'll leave one of those the color it was. And choose a color. the future. All right, now that's it. Now what you saw, now of course you would continue to do that with uh, connecting uh, this, the, the points with a segment over in the second quadrant, then into the third, then into the fourth. I'm not going to go through all that. And in, in fact, there's a way of having Sketchpad do that for you. 
but I might let you try to figure that out for yourself. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, choose each of these um, endpoints, and I'm going to hide them. So I choose them, I right-click, and I hide the point. And I keep at that, so I hide all those points, okay? And you just work your way down and hide the points. Then you come down here. Um, this is, of course, called the origin point. It's going to ask you you want to hide the origin point, okay? But we want to hide all of them, all right? So we're just going to choose that. We're going to hide the uh, unit point there. That's called because it's uh, right on the y-axis. Keep on going. You can do that. Now, once that's done and you've gone and drawn the design over here in the quadrant 2 as well as quadrant 3 and 4, unless you can find a way of doing, allowing Sketchpad to do it for you, then once you've got that design in the coordinate system, you're going to come back, going to go to graph, and you're going to say hide the grid. But you also want to select the axes, and you want to hide the axes, both the X and the Y axes. Hide the axes, okay? And, of course, when you're all done, this is what your design should look like. So construct that, and save it, and submit it to me, but then I will have you write me an explanation using the language of geometry, using the coordinate system to define how the points are drawn. So I want you to write up a uh, description on how to create this design uh, using some language of math and algebra. And that you'll submit to me um, in another location on Moodle. Okay, there you go.